The sun has gone. The people pray to the moon to bring back the sun. The moon sets off on its journey to find the sun. Hello everybody, and welcome to the new indie game, let's play, of 6180 The Moon. So, press the A button to start. Oh, is this controller compatible? I've just realized my controls in. I was about to just sit down and play this with the keyboard. Oh dear. Well, I guess I'd better untangle that controller then, haven't you, Spyro? Oh, yes, I best I better have. Right, so let's uh, pull this over here. Oh, it is. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So, welcome to 6180 The Moon. Let's begin our new journey. Our new journey on the moon. Oh, the music is so relaxing, isn't it? I guess we've got to wait for the solar system to, to come into play. There we go, and... What's happened? Where has the sun gone to? Even my light comes from him. Well... I want to go a little bit slower on those texts. So yes, this is 6180 The Moon, The Moon Village, now that uh, all of those intros are out of the way. But yes, this is 6180 The Moon, this is a indie game which is available for a couple of books on Steam and I recommend getting it so much. I haven't played through the entire game. Uh, I haven't actually played the game at all. I saw Total Biscuit do it on his Impress Me. Oh, use the analog sticks. Beautiful. So it is completely controller compatible. That is fantastic. But yes, I saw Total Biscuit do it on his Impress Me and even before he said I was impressed, just the way that it's so relaxing and how serene the music is, I was I saw it and I was like, oh, this this reminds me so much of Fez. I mean, it's you obviously don't collect cubes; it's not a puzzle platformer. But in terms of just how relaxing it is and a couple of the puzzles that will come up, it was like, man, this reminds me of Fez so much. This looks great. I don't give a shit what Total Biscuit says. I'm going to get this game, even if he doesn't like it. It turns out he did like it. So, uh, there you go, but I was like, I'm, I'm getting this no matter what, and I've, I've got to play it for you all, because you all, you all really need to see this, and I mean, it does look minimalistic, but it doesn't matter, because it's, it's just such a, such a serene, calming game, and it's, it's such a joy to play that I had to show it off. So, as you can see, A to jump, you get a screen wrap, the whole gimmick is a screen wrap, new mechanics are introduced with each planet you visit, because we will be visiting the planets in the solar system to get to the sun, and when you jump, you jump up the top, and there is a cap to how high you can jump, so you are, you can only jump like so high, and your goal is to get to these, um, I guess, targets at the end of every level, and as you get to the end of every level, oh there you go, achievement unlocked, start the journey, as you get to the end of every level, you just automatically get catapulted into the new one, so don't be scared won't die. Which of course you won't because it's screen wrapped so there is basically no no way to fail in terms of the actual jumping off into the abyss. However there are obstacles like now as you can see they have introduced spikes and as you can see this is where I mean about the, the height limit so you will have enough height to just jump up and get over onto these things and oh, oh it's, it's so good. It's, so good, and spikes will kill you by the way, that is the one thing that will kill you, and if they do, you will explode into confetti, so how do you do this? You jump up, you bounce on that, and then you jump back down, and that's that's something which I really love about about um, 6180 here, is just the way, how creative these puzzles get, because this is obviously the first level, and I have seen the first level, so I know what I'm doing on the first level, the other levels will be blind, and I, I don't really have a any clue of what I am doing, but just the, the creative way that they're doing all of these these levels, like as you can see, you jumping and appearing in different places, it's, it's so clever, such a simple mechanic, and I don't know how they've done it, but it's, it's fantastic. So uh, yeah, I would totally recommend you check out 6180 The Moon, it's, it's a fantastic game. It's got a fantastic soundtrack, and I am probably just gonna shut up for a minute because once once we've got this little my gushing out of the way, we'll get back into the let's play for for real. So uh, once I've got my gushing out of the way, I'm gonna stop for a minute and just, just let you take in this this 
beautiful soundtrack that they've this beautiful soundtrack that they've got going on here because oh it is oh just just listen for a second just just listen for a a brief second Lovely. Isn't that just like most calming, most calming stuff ever? Oh, it is so calming. It is so good. I love it so much. And th the greatest thing about this is, oh yeah, you've got to, you've got to bounce the other way now. The greatest thing about this is it, it's got that weird sereneness that makes it so that. Even if you die on spikes, you you don't care. You're just like, oh, I'm I'm dying on spikes. That, that doesn't matter to me. I'm music's just too calming for me to care that I'm dying on spikes. So uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. That's, that's how it works. So let's let's finish off the moon, and that will end the part because I'm going to do one world, or I'm going to hope. Oh man, I've got to like jump diagonally. There you go. Well, I'm going to do one world per video. So we've we've cleared the moon pretty much. And then in the next video we'll move on to Earth, and now that we've got all my gushing out of the way, we will begin with, uh, with the actual, the actual me making sensible commentary rather than just saying, Oh, it's so good! Uh, even though it is so good, and you know, I, as again, I would, you all really, really please just check these guys out, it is well worth your time, and it is, it is worth pennies, it is literally so cheap on Steam, and considering some of the games that are available on Steam, this one is, for its price, it is well worth its price. I mean, I've only been playing the first 10 levels, and this is my first time playing it. I mean, obviously I watched Total Biscuit's video, but this is my first time playing it, and I'm, I'm already having major, major fun here. So I know I've screwed up there, because I think I've got to launch myself and jump in between these three spikes. So you've got to, like, get the correct momentum, and then as you're going down, fall through. Well, I guess I can, like, fall here, and jump like this. Yeah, that also works. I think there's also multiple ways of solving the puzzles, from what it, what it seems here. So I can, like, hit that, and then I can... Yeah, there you go. Boom. We've done it. Moon. Moon has started her journey. She is approaching Earth. So that is the first episode of this this beautiful game, and just while we're here, I will go on to Steam and see how much it is for for all of you because it is so cheap, and I really recommend getting it. Six one eight zero moon. It is two pounds seventy nine, which in American translates to three dollars fifty or around thereabouts. So you know, three dollars fifty, and. That's about $7 with the soundtrack. I, I recommend getting it. It's, it's beautiful. So, thank you all for watching this first episode of 6180 The Moon. I have to say, from just, just playing the first eight minutes, the first level, I'm impressed. I am very impressed. The serene music with the simple style, the simple graphics, the, the clever gameplay with the screen wrapping, for the price that it's at, it's, it's fantastic. So, Thank you all for watching this first episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to leave a like. If you're enjoying this series, or if you love the, the first episode, if you can't wait to see more of this series, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the very next relaxing episode.